What's up survivors and killers? Today we're going to talk about something that needs to happen like yesterday. That's right, a Dead by Daylight movie. Now before you hit me with why though, just hear me out. Grab your toolbox, hop into the fog, because we're about to repair some broken generators of an idea. So we all know Dead by Daylight is a horror juggernaut. I mean, it's basically taking over the asymmetrical horror genre. It has a massive fan base, consistent updates, and a huge roster of killers. The game's success speaks for itself. I mean, have you tried playing against some of these killers and not get a little palm sweaty? That kind of stress makes for good entertainment. But I'm telling you, Dead by Daylight movie doesn't need to be some bloated $100 million blockbuster. No, no, no. Remember Friday 13th, the original? That was made with only a million bucks. And it became one of the most iconic horror franchises of all time. I'm thinking something along those lines, but with more hooks and less Jason. Okay, maybe a little Jason would be nice. We'll get to that. Now, here's why a Dead by Daylight movie actually could work. First off, the lore. The game's got lore deeper than the entity's fog. Dead by Daylight isn't just run from the killer, although, let's be real, that's about 90% of the game. But beneath that, there's this whole world where killers are possessed by the entity, which is basically like if Pennywise and Jigsaw had a baby that fed on despair, don't know where that came from. The entity manipulates killers to do its bidding, trapping survivors in an endless loop of cat and mouse torture. Now imagine that on the big screen. The potential for the storytelling is insane. You could follow a survivor who's forced into this nightmarish realm, learning about the killers, their backstories, and how they ended up being possessed by the entity, and every killer has their own tragic history. The spirit, the huntress, and even the trapper have some twisted lore that could be terrifying when fleshed out, and guess what? No need for CGI monsters. We've already got these killers, each one creepier than the last. Now for the fun part. Who do we get to play these iconic killers? First off, imagine this, Doug Jones as the Wraith. Doug's got a body that moves like it's made of smoke. Picture him phasing in and out of reality and stalking his prey with that haunting bell. Creepy, right? And hey, here's a wild idea. Since we had some guest killers like Michael Myers, Ghostface, and Freddy Krueger in the game, why'd I invite them for some cameos? I mean, imagine the entity recruiting these legendary killers for a quick scene, nothing long, just a little nod to the fans. Nothing over the top. Freddy could just throw in some snarky one-liners, Ghostface could be Ghostface, and Myers could just stand there menacingly. Classic stuff. Plus, a low budget could work wonders for this. We don't need expensive CGI explosions. We've got dark woods, creepy abandoned buildings, and a fog. Lots of fog. Enough fog to make Silent Hill look like it's a sunny day. The atmosphere can carry this movie. No need for a Michael Bay budget. Let's be honest, the scariest things aren't flashy. They're the things that are lurking in the shadows. Now here's where it could get really interesting. The survivors, imagine fleshing them out. No pun intended. You get different personalities, different backgrounds, and watching them try to work together or betray each other. We've all seen that one character hiding in the corner. This could create some seriously tense moments. We could even see some iconic perks in action, like, I don't know. Oh look, there's that guy running borrowed time. That's going to save him. Gets hooked anyways. And if the movie does well, which it definitely could, we're not stopping at one film. Oh no, we're building a Dead by Daylight cinematic universe. We could have sequels diving into the backstories of killers, Maybe even some prequels showing how they fell into the entity's realm. We could explore how survivors are chosen and heck, let's get into the entity itself. What is it? Why does it feed on hope? And why is it so obsessed with pallets? So there you have it. The case of why Dead by Daylight needs a film adaptation. Why it could work. I'm telling you, it could become the next big horror franchise. All we need is a few million dollars, a creepy cabin, and enough fog machines to cover the entire Pacific Northwest. If you agree with me, hit that like button, drop a comment with your killer casting ideas. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.